Hey creators, Nate here with Production Crate. Our new 3D scale script allows you to lock the scale of 3D layers and quickly and easily adjust your scene depth. Today, we will be creating this parallaxing space scene and be able to quickly manage and change the depth of our shot to achieve whatever desired result we want. So to get started, I'm going to be using the still image of Earth taken from the moon and we're going to be creating a custom 3D depth scene out of this two-dimensional image. And the great thing about this script is that we can easily control how far apart our 3D layers are. And since things in space are usually really, really far apart, this will also be a, a huge advantage of using this script. Likewise, if you have things that need to be close together, which aren't in space, for example, this script can also manage that well. So I'm going to start a composition here and just set it to something that's more of a video format. And I'm going to then create a layer for each of my elements. In this case, I just have the moon and I have the earth over here. I'll go ahead and scale this up so it fits in the frame. And now I'll duplicate it. I'll name one of them to be the moon and the other one can be the earth. Then I'll go ahead and cut them out with the pen tool up here. So I'll cut out my earth, and if I solo this, you can see that we have a black uh, sort of silhouette around it. We can get rid of this by adding something like extract, and then we can apply a faded black key, which will give us a nice uh, look once we put it back on the black background. And then we can also do the same for our moon. We'll solo it, and we'll cut out the part that is the moon. And then we can do the same thing and apply an extract effect in order to get rid of the black that is just around the moon here. In this case, we, we can be a little bit more aggressive and don't need to fade it off. So now we have just the moon and just the earth in an individual layer. One more thing I'm going to add is background stars. In this case, this is kind of an artistic choice. I'm going to add this uh, super cluster image. Now, one major note about using our script here, which is going to lock the scale so we can push things forward and backward in Z space, is if you have, for example, in my case, created something with masks or have effects on it, like we have this extract effect, we want to first pre-compose it. And we can pre-compose with the shortcut Control shift c or we can go to Layer, Pre-Compose, and we'll want to choose to move all attributes into a new composition because we want this to be sort of its own freestanding layer like this. Then I'll do the same for the moon. Make sure I move all the attributes and hit OK. Now we have a background layer, a moon layer, and an earth layer. Now that we're happy with our setup, let's go ahead and make each of these layers 3D. So I'll make sure with the toggle switches and modes, I'll make all of these 3D with the 3D toggle switch, which should make no difference. We're just making sure that they now have a possible Z position we can adjust. And if you don't already have one, you want to create a camera. So I'll say layer new camera. And we're in space, so we probably want to see quite far. Um, but I want to make sure I also get everything in frame. So something like 20 millimeters should be good. And now we can basically start using the script to set up this scene and convert all of these two dimensional elements into something with more depth. One thing I do want to mention is that you want to make sure all of your layers are at zero Z position. The reason for this is because we're going to apply a, an expression via this script and this expression will mess up if it's not at the initial starting point of zero on the Z position. So to launch our script, we'll go to file scripts run script file and i'll go ahead and select crates 3d scale lock.jsx this is a very simple script which has simple instructions and let's go ahead and just use it so we want to first select 3d layers to lock or remove the scale we have a button in our script that basically is the main functionality the first time we click the button when it says lock in 3d space it's going to lock our layer in 3d space so if we select uh, our 3d layers here the earth, moon, and background, and I hit lock in 3D space, you can see they're now going to have a scale expression applied, which will keep them basically the same appearance no matter where we put them in Z space. So let's go ahead and use this to set things up. If we think about what should go farthest back in the background, that's going to be these background stars here. And since we want them to be very, very far back, I'll set the Z position to something like 50,000. As you can see, 
a slight adjustment is made, but the overall image and scale is kept the same. We now have these very, very far in the background. Next, I guess next closest would be the earth. Let's set this to be maybe 15,000. And then lastly, we have the moon, which is pretty close to the camera, but we'll still push it a little bit in Z space. We'll say maybe 5,000. So now everything looks exactly the same, but we've actually managed to move everything in 3D space without adjusting the scale. So it looks exactly the same. We'll notice how it changes when we move the camera. But first you can see the interface now says lock. This is what we need to do is uh, reselect all of our 3D layers here, which we want to now lock in 3D space and hit lock. This is going to remove the scale expression and keep them wherever we put them in Z space. Now, if we take our camera and use the orbit or dolly tool, you can see we have a 3D setup of our scene. Now, obviously you can't always adjust it extremely, otherwise things will look a little bit strange. But if we say maybe do a dolly move, we can slowly pan in here. You can see the background is barely moving, but the earth and the moon are moving much differently depending on how I put them in Z space. Now, another note is once you've locked these into Z space, that is how it is gonna be set in stone. If I was to go back in and lock in 3D space again, you might get some errors, and that's just because things have been adjusted very dramatically. The Z position here is 50,000 and the scale is 2,500. So in order to redo uh, the setup, what we can do is basically undo the 3D switch and set the scale of everything back to 100. And then I'm gonna rescale this back down. And now if I wanted to adjust this to make it less depth, I could do that. We can say, make these 3D. And if you see nothing, one good thing you can do is reset your camera. That way it's back in the default position. And then we'll select our 3D layers, lock in 3D space. And now instead of maybe making it so extreme as we did last time, I'll make the background hmm, 20,000, the earth 5,000, and the moon 500. Now if I go ahead and make sure I have these selected again and lock them, now we move the camera, things are going to be a lot more dramatic and shift much quicker because everything is closer in Z space. The last thing I want to go over is this extra controls option. What this does is applies an expression. So even though we lock the scale when we run the script, this extra controls will give us the option to scale things up or down a little bit to make sort of in process adjustment. So if I check extra controls, and then I lock my layers in 3D space. You can see on each of our layers, we have an additional scale which we can add. So let's say I wanted to make my background larger or smaller. And now that we have this extra control, I can adjust the scale. Let's say I wanna change the scale of my backgrounds. We can now, even though it's technically locked, we can now adjust the scale uh, while we're locked. And once we now fix it and lock it, it'll retain that as well. So that's just a little extra feature to make some small adjustments if needed. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. That is our new Crates 3D Scale Script video. Make sure you check it out. Try it out for yourself to do set extensions, convert 2D to 3D scenes, and much more. Also, make sure you head over to productioncrate.com in our scripts and plugins section. You can check out a whole bunch of other cool tools we've created as well. Thanks again for watching, and remember to make it awesome. <laughs>